There are a lot of problems with Call of Duty World War II, but one of the main issues that everyone can agree upon is that the kill streaks in COD World War II are straight trash, bro. They're horrible. They're not fun. They take so many kills, especially one of the issues with the domination 50 point kill system happening right now. It takes ridiculous amounts of kills. And actually, when you do get the kill streaks, let's say you drop out the sky and you hit the ass with, like, let's say, paratroopers, which take 12 and a half kills to call them paratroopers. They're useless. I mean, the paratroopers actually run around with a goddamn shovel, and they're not good at all. And the only good kill streak and the biggest kill streak we actually have is a ball turret gunner. Now, when we compare these kill streaks to other Call of Duties, let's say Call of Duty Black Ops 1, the chopper gunner. The chopper gunner was nine kills and it kicked ass on a whole different level than the ball turret gunner. The ball turret gunner is not bad. I've had it a couple of times. And like I said, it takes 14 kills in a regular team deathmatch. Well, also the team deathmatch is only 75 kills and the game is so slow and it takes so much work to actually get kill streaks. It's almost impossible to get a ball turret gunner in say a team deathmatch. That's why people like playing Domination because it used to be 100 points per kill. So it wasn't too hard with your capturing and flagging and all that kind of stuff, playing the objective, the PTFO, and that the boys do that know how to play the game. And coupled on top with kills, it would take 14 kills if actually that was the case. But it's only 50 points for kills. So it takes 28 kills to get a ball turret gunner. The V2 rocket takes 25 kills. So you mean to tell me that a crappy kill streaks in World War II takes three more kills than a V2 rocket? It makes no sense whatsoever. Paratroopers cost 1,250 points, which is 13 kills playing Team Deathmatch, or 26 kills playing Domination, which is one more kill than a V2 rocket. This is making no sense whatsoever, and the paratroopers are useless. Modern Warfare 2 may be considered the most fun and the best Call of Duty ever. I'm sure there are issues with it. We all know about the One Man Army Noob 2, but let's stay on point here and let's just talk about the kill streaks. Now, the kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2 are considered to be the most fun and probably the most overpowered overall collection of kill streaks ever. I'm sure Black Ops 3 was a lot of fun. The wraps, for example, let's just put that in example before we even get into Modern Warfare 2. The wraps in Black Ops 3 are the equivalent of what the paratroopers are in COD World War 2. And the paratroopers, like I just said, are horrible. They're useless. If you get five kills from the paratroopers, that's an amazing day. You're beyond a super duper cooper just having to find a website with my best friend Brock ride around a gay blue Jeep pumped up on my 10% discount code. I rip off kids. But they usually get about two or three. Now, the kill streaks in Modern Warfare 2, let's check them out here. Three kills was a UAV, four care package, counter UAV was four, to catch a predator missile was five kills, sentry gun, five kills, precision airstrike, six kill, not very good. The Harrier, which could lay down death and destruction, seven kills, attack helicopter, seven kills, wasn't that great. Emergency airdrop, which would give you some crazy care package kill streaks coming out of that sky, eight. The Pavlo, one of the best kill streaks, nine, stealth bomber, kind of uses. Chopper Gunner. The Chopper Gunner in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 11 kills. The equivalent for 11 kills in Call of Duty World War 2, the carpet bombing. That's what you get 12 kills over. An aerial obliteration bombing that makes multiple passes over enemy occupied territory. Three or four kills if you're lucky. And it takes 12 kills or 24 if you're playing the Dom 50. Ridiculous. The Chopper Gunner was amazing. Do I need to take it back? Remember the Chopper Gunner song from Black Ops 1, old school YouTube, back in my old channel, 8 Thoughts, Call of Duty fans here. Let me, let me just give you a little bit of that. Ooh, Chopper Gunner, oh, up in the sky, every mother <laughs> they're gonna die. Bitches got out their strata missiles because of news, mother <laughs> know you suck, because you suck if you got... Strella missiles equipped Cause you're going into a game Knowing you're gonna get your ass Remember that? We don't have that nowadays Because the kill tricks in Cod World War 2 Are useless Then we keep going on The AC-130 Enemy AC-130 above! If you're playing Domination, that thing was amazing. Remember Sandy Ravage? Remember how much ass he would kick going around AC-130 Domination? The EMP was 15 kills and an actual game ending kill streak. The last time he actually had one, the Tactical Nuke inbound. 25 kills. Tactical Nuke incoming! They have the V2 rocket, that's correct, in COD World War II, but it's not actually available to everybody. 
you got to jump through all these hoops. You got to prestige everything in COD World War II, and then you can unlock the V2 rocket kill streak, 25 kills. But at the same time as well, it's almost unattainable for 90% of the gamers because unless you got a G Fuel discount code, Scuff Gaming controller, Sweat Fest, just happen to find a website style gameplay, it's almost impossible to get a 25 kill streak with just gun only. At least on Modern Warfare 2, it was attainable to better players, not amazing players, but pretty good players. If you're lucky and had a great game, it was attainable. It was fun. It was something to shoot for. Getting a gun only 25 kill streak in Call of Duty World War II is almost next to impossible. Yeah, yeah, you know what I thought? Oh, Jesus Christ. I thought I told you. No, no, let me talk. Let me talk. No, I'm not, I promise. 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 I'm not going to be a jerk. I promise. Come on, thoughts. Give me a chance. Come on. All right, Timmy. Whatever, man. What do you have to say? Okay, 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 okay. First of all, eight thoughts. Go fuck yourself. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. I said, don't, don't give me those. Now, where the hell was it? Yeah, okay, yes. Call of Duty World War II killstreak sucks. I think that's what we get to the point of the matter here. It is actually one of the biggest problems with the game. Of course, like I said, there's a lot of other extenuating circumstances that lead to the demise of this game for a lot of people that don't enjoy it. But the point is, is that COD World War II and Call of Duty in general is predicated upon having good killstreaks. And I mean, what you can get for COD World War II compared to other Call of Duties. For example, three kills in COD World War II get you, I think, what, Molotov cocktails? Ooh, wow. Three kills in our games get you a UAV. Nine kills in Modern Warfare 2 got you a Pavlo. It was amazing. 11 kills got you a Chopper Gunner. And what do you get in COD World War 2 with nine kills? Flak guns. Flak guns. <laughs> Destroys all enemy aerial score streaks and blocks enemies from using new ones. Great. No one gets any kill streaks anyway, so flat guns take nine and a half kills, or 18, or 19 rather, if you're playing domination, to get nothing because it doesn't kill anything because there's no kill streaks up in this guy anyways because they're useless. Oh yeah, with five kill streaks in COD World War II, we get a fighter pilot flying a strafe run in a fighter aircraft that comes flying out the sky. Maybe if you're lucky, you get two kills. What if five kills get you in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? An amazing, an amazing predator, predator missile, missile falling out of the sky like Thor's hammer raining down death and destruction on the Autobots. I'd kind of cross-reference their movies and genres, but whatever, you're getting the gist of my points. Seven and a half kills on COD World War II get you a mortar strike. Or 15 kills if you're playing Domination. A mortar strike. A mortar strike which does probably less damage than a five kill streak back in the day playing Modern Warfare 2. It's ridiculous. The kill streaks need to be buffed, or they need to be lowered, or Sledgehammer just needs to shut down operations, close the doors, and go back to, I don't know, whatever the hell they did before, marching the streets with Antifa, and being SJWs, and getting their earrings goddamn double pierced like Michael Cocktree. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Call of Duty World War II kill streaks are absolutely useless. The most useless, actually, you know what? Ghosts were pretty bad as well. At least they had the chem strike. That was pretty badass. You didn't have to jump through a bunch of nonsense hoops in order to actually get the kill streak unlocked. But the kill streaks are absolutely uninspiring, boring, and if you're playing domination, almost impossible to actually get. Which is why a lot of big Call of Duty YouTubers are no longer playing this game. Like Mark J, the number one pop stomp release that I know of, who's not an MLG pro, has quit playing this game and went back to playing Black Ops 3. I mean, that's gotta be saying something. People like Blame Truth who's a Call of Duty OG, finds this game absolutely unplayable. I personally don't really enjoy the game. The only fun I have, like I said, is I like running around in free-for-alls with bouncing beddies and shotguns and just being a dick and just sort of being like the worm. Bam! The worm! Yeah! Going around and doing that kind of stuff and just having a good time. Because playing Team Deathmatch is not fun. It's a bunch of head glitch and head camp. And that's one thing I understand as well. Why are dudes playing Team Deathmatch like it's life or death? Like they actually are back in World War II as if when they die, they don't respawn. The games are taking forever. It's almost impossible to get killstreaks. So I don't know what people are camping for. What's the point in camping? What's the point in playing all serious? If the killstreaks you actually end up unlocking don't do anything anyways, they're useless. So you might as well just run around and try to get as many kills as you can. But the game itself, when it comes down to killstreaks to stay on point, they suck. They suck the big one, daddy. They're no 
no good whatsoever. They're not fun. And it actually is one of the main reasons it's holding back the game. The 50 points Dom and the kill streaks sort of run together, make the game boring. Call of Duty is not good enough of a game itself just to rely on gun streaks and like as if it's some kind of MLG event. The kill streaks and the acquisition of those kill streaks and the fact of trying to chase those kill streaks and feeling like a powerful oh, Superman, Superman raining down destruction, having a great game is what made Call of Duty fun and what is Call of Duty in general. And a lot of these development teams, I mean, Treyarch in a roundabout way does have some good kill streaks. Black Ops, like I said, the wraps, those were pretty good, but the rest were actually underwhelming as well. A whole lot better than what we have now, let's just be honest. But Sledgehammer, at least. And Infinity Ward don't know what they're doing. And I hope you're watching this video, Michael Cucktree. I really do, Mr. Cucktree. I really hope you're watching it, Michael Cucktree. I hope Sledgehammer Games is looking at this. And I hope you realize that I am the truth. That we are the truth. That you need to realize and listen to us because we know what we're talking about because we are your consumer. You are making the game for us. Not for Optic Scumpy. Not for Optic Gaming. Not for FaZe. Not for MLG Clans. No. For the common consumer that buys your game. We are your demographic, and you need to start listening to us. Or just get fired and go goddamn march in the streets for double hoop earrings. Ha! <laughs> Gay! Thank you for watching the video, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you did. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed because not subscribing is a huge mistake in your life and you're gonna regret it when you're laying on your deathbed. I didn't subscribe to eight thoughts. My life could have been so much better had I subscribed and watched more of his videos. And last but not least, stay black. And don't the hungry crack a reptilian shapeshifter building the moon base. Harp. They're spraying chemtrails. 9-11 was a the job just Google Tower 7. They're up at Bohemian Grove Worshipman Owls. The Earth is flat. Don't believe Joe Rogan. He's a paid shill. He's been spot off by the Illuminati and NASA. The moon landing was fake. Alex Jones is Bill Hicks. White men bring you down. Yeah. <laughs>